how do we decide what is uh, the threshold or what is with respect to material life what is sufficient for us so the idea is that when uh, yudhishthir becomes the king of indraprastha at that time nagamuni comes to meet him and nagamuni asks him that are you practicing dharma artha and kama in balance says it, uh, that means he says don't give up dharma for the sake of artha or kama don't give up artha for the sake of dharma and kama and don't give up kama for the sake of dharma and artha or put it other way for the sake of dharma don't give up artha and kama for the sake of artha don't give up dharma and kama and for the sake of kama don't give up dharma and artha now we may have a very reductionist uh, reductionistic understanding uh, dharma is not just mundane piety it is virtuous living artha is not just money it is you could say prosperity holistic prosperity and kama is not the sensual desire it is fulfilling relationships it is fulfilling it is fulfilling relationships so all three are important now so we could say broadly you could associate dharma with the temple artha with our workplace and kama with our family so all these three are important now and all three need to be balanced so we would we would, it is natural that we all want to grow in our lives and growth is a natural state of the human of living condition not just human condition each one of us is just a single unicellular organism at one time now there are millions billions of cells in our body so that happens because of growth so growth is natural and desirable however cancer is also growth but what is the difference between cancer and normal growth it is disproportionate growth one part of the body starts growing at the expense of other parts and because it is so disproportionate it starts becoming destructive so that sort of the growth has to be stopped so the idea is that dharma artha kama we want to grow in all areas of our life in a balanced way So we want to do a. We want to grow in our bhakti. We want to take up. We are to do more seva. Take up more responsibilities. We want to uh, do well in our professional life. We want our family to also flourish. So all these three, how to balance? That is something which uh, we have to individually decide. But the principle is we need to balance all these things. And I use the word dharma over here. I didn't use the word bhakti. Why? Because bhakti actually integrates or underlies all of them. bhakti is not just associated with dharma yes we come to the temple and practice bhakti but even in our in our pursuit of artha a devotee can practice bhakti why am i earning money my home is like a temple i want to take care of that home i have a temple i want to contact assist in that temple my kama these are not just my family members these are the krishna's family members interested in my care so i will take care of them and by that i'll take care i'm taking care of krishna i'm serving krishna so bhakti underlies and bhakti can unify all of these and with respect to balance how much is to specifically your question first point i made mean is that balance is required in all areas of our life where we want to grow the second is that each one of us has to we find the balance by intelligence and experience see generally let's compare it with food suppose uh, Somebody offers a plate, and uh, there's one devotee who is like a how should I put it? He's a health fanatic. Hmm? So when people come to his home for prasad, he gives them tiny plates of prasad. He says you can take as many plates as you want, but tiny plates. <laughs> <laughs> he read in some book somewhere that you know if you decrease the size of the plate. Will decrease the size of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so now, okay. Now, with respect to with respect to food, at one level, with our intellect, this plate, this is too little. Or sometimes, you know, people just load the plate. <laughs> yeah, you know, to eat this, you have to give me one more stomach now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is too much. At one level, with intelligence, we understand it. how much food is too much or too how much is too little but it is not just intelligence it's also experience now I eat food and i finish the plate and i am still feeling hungry i am still feeling empty and then okay maybe i should take a little bit 
So intelligence and experience, and sometimes that experience will not come immediately. At that time, I feel more hungry. But after I feel very bloated and bloated. Maybe I, you know, I shouldn't have eaten that. So we learn gradually. Well. Basically, we learn by the combination of intelligence and experience. So similarly, with respect to say, the pursuit of wealth and prosperity in our lives. Okay, with our intelligence, we understand, okay, what is my capacity? And, okay, I'm earning this much now. I have the capacity to earn that much also. But how much work is it going to require? How much stress is it going to cause? Is it really worth it? I'll have to neglect other things in my life. Is it really worth it? So the idea is that if our experience Okay, I'm pursuing prosperity, but in the pursuit of prosperity, I'm simply being so miserable and I'm making others miserable around me. Then is that really worth it? So we use our intelligence to assess what we need and we, you, we correlate with our experience. And that way each of us can find our balance.